On October 15, 2010, the Oregon State Apprenticeship and Training Council held a special meeting to announce the results of apprentice line worker Jenna Smith's complaint. In the complaint, Jenna Smith requested that the State Council overturn the Eugene Springfield JATC's decision to hold her back from getting her journey level card. One would hope that they'll do the right thing. Many supporters came out to hear the results. And I could not believe that this kind of behavior is still be going on here in the 21st century. After the Labor Commissioner called the meeting to order, the Director of Apprenticeship, Steve Sims, read a brief on events in the case so far. Smith, a six-period line apprentice with Eugene Springfield Utilities, JATC. Next, the Eugene Springfield JATC read a statement. The JATC and each of its training, training agents fully support the advancement of women in this race. We would also like to state that Jennifer Smith successfully completed the objective criteria necessary to be advanced to journey level status, including written tests and required hours, that she demonstrated knowledge of the skills necessary of a journey line technician, that as the record reflects, at the time of her last evaluation, the JATC determined that Jennifer Smith had not demonstrated complete competency in the field. However, the, J the JATC believes that Jennifer Smith is capable of being a proficient journeyman line technician. The council made a motion to yes. award Jenna her card and then Williams. took a vote. Yes. Mr. Rogers? Yes. Mr. Pollock? Yes. Ms. Wilson? Yes. Motion passes. With that, the motion carries. The second matter addressed at the meeting was a list of 10 remedial measures that the JATC will take to prevent a situation like this from happening in the future. They're going to come back to us in March of 2011. We're going to see where their progress is at that time. And if we still find deficiencies at that time, then we could extend the probationary period at, at that point, correct? Ms. Wilson, through the chair, that is correct. According to the commissioner, the measures were put together in full cooperation with the JATC and EWEB. The commissioner also congratulated Jenna Smith for her achievement in completing her program, calling it remarkable and historic. And with that, council, we are adjourned. I feel like this is truly an historical moment for tradeswomen and their allies, that we have all stood up and said it's really time to make a change, that Women have been a pathetic 3% of the construction workforce for the past 30 years or so, and yet women have proved over and over again that they do want to do this work, and when they get a chance to do this work, they do it very well. The change doesn't happen in a vacuum. This change happened because of the hard work of everybody who uh, participated in this. First of all, Jenna herself to bring forth her issue and to make it known to everybody. For Dawn Jones of Oregon Tradeswoman for taking that fabulous video and putting it up so people could see it and respond to it. And everybody who responded to it and uh, poured forth their heart and their guts and their comments and their experiences of pain. So I definitely want to praise Jenna and her attorney, Margaret Wilson, Labor Commissioner Brad Avakian was critical in negotiating a settlement that everybody could feel comfortable with. I want to praise EWEB and the JATC themselves. They, they have really obviously worked hard to come to a place where they're ready to um, make a difference. But I also want to thank the International Office of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers and the local, Local 659, for their support of Jenna and for their commitment that uh, no worker should have to experience what Jenna went through. I definitely want to send a challenge out to everybody that we need to learn from this and continue to make a difference. Where are the bright spots where things have worked? Where are the utility companies that have truly integrated women onto their workforce? What do, can we learn from those companies and their apprenticeship programs and unions? What can we learn from line worker women that have successfully uh, made it and from their brothers who have been supportive of them as they um, came on to the cruise. I want to thank Jenna for her courage and determination for speaking up, for um, telling her story, for hanging in there through how hard it's been because she's really making a difference for all tradeswomen 
and I believe for all tradesmen as well.